Hello and welcome back to Actual Edge. Today we have a new video about a potential vaccine for the HIV virus. But before we start, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share it with your friends. The quest for a HIV vaccine is an imperative endeavour in our battle against the virus that continues to plague humanity infecting over a million people annually and contributing to hundreds of thousands of deaths. Despite facing numerous setbacks over two decades, recent advancements in scientific research offer a glimmer of hope for the development of a highly effective vaccine against this insidious virus. However, the journey towards a such a vaccine is fraught with challenges and it's unlikely that a viable solution will be within our grasp until the 2030s. Dr. Judy McElrath, the Director of the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Division at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center in Seattle, emphasize the critical importance of a HIV vaccine in providing long-term immunity against the virus. Presently, all efforts in HIV vaccine development are concentrated in laboratories, animal studies or very early human trials. Recent studies presented at the Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infectious showcased promising results, igniting cautious optimism among researchers. One study demonstrated that a modification to the simian version of HIV spurred the production of broadly neutralizing antibodies against the virus in monkeys. Another study showed potential in coaxing the immune system's B cells to produce powerful antibodies in humans. However, despite these encouraging findings, researchers in this field face a monumental challenge due to the unparalleled complexity of the HIV virus. William Sheaf, who leads Moderna's HIV vaccine efforts, noted that the field has learned from past failures, recognizing strategies that do not work. The financial investment in HIV vaccine research has been substantial, with nearly 17 billion US dollars spent worldwide from 2000 to 2021 and ongoing annual expenditures exceeding a billion dollars. Dr. Nina Russell, who directs HIV research at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, emphasized the importance of maintaining funding for HIV vaccines, highlighting the progress and excitement in the field. The journey towards a HIV vaccine has been arduous, spanning four decades and marked by numerous trials, with only one showing efficacy, a trial conducted in Thailand in 2009 which reported a modest 31% reduction in HIV risk. Subsequent efforts to improve vaccine strategies led to a series of trials in the late 2010s, all of which ended in failure. Researchers attribute these failures to the production of non-neutralizing antibodies which proved ineffective against the virus. Developing an effective HIV vaccine poses unique challenges as the immune system does not naturally mount a strong defense against the virus. Unlike many vaccine preventable infections such as COVID, a HIV vaccine must stimulate a superchanged immune responses without a natural equivalent. The path to victory lies in the production of broadly neutralizing antibodies which attack HIV in multiple ways and can neutralize a variety of virus strains. However, challenges abound including the virus's propensity for mutation, which can render antibodies ineffective. Researchers are exploring targets on the virus's surface that are less prone to mutation as well as strategies to target multiple sites on the virus to mitigate the mutation threat. The development of broadly neutralizing antibodies requires a complex process of coaxing and guiding the immune system's B cells, a task that demands meticulous precision and innovative approaches. Despite these challenges, recent technological advances including mRNA technology, improved animal mo models and advanced imaging techniques have bolstered researchers' capabilities in vaccine development. 
global collaboration among major players in the field is flourishing, leading to several early stage human clinical trials of vaccine components. These trials represent a crucial step forward in the quest for a HIV vaccine, despite facing inherent risks and uncertainties. Looking ahead, researchers are cautiously optimistic about the progress made in HIV development. While the timeline for the first efficacy trial may extend into the 2030s or beyond, the field is in better position than ever before. Dr. Mark Feinberg, President and CEO of IAVI, expressed confidence in the advancements made, emphasizing the potential for ultimately ending the HIV epidemic through the development of an effective vaccine. As researchers continue to push the boundary of science and innovation, the hope for a world without HIV remains within reach. In the pursuit of combating HIV, researchers have also explored various approaches beyond traditional vaccine development, including gene editing techniques such as CRISPR-Cas9. While gene editing holds promise in the realm of HIV treatment and prevention, there are notable distinctions between this approach and the traditional vaccine development that warrant consideration. Gene editing technologies like CRISPR offer the tantalizing prospect of directly targeting and modifying the genetic material of HIV, potentially rendering the virus inactive or preventing its replication within host cells. Indeed, research has demonstrated the feasible potential of using CRISPR to disrupt HIV genes in laboratory settings, raising hopes for its application in clinical trials. However, the translation of gene editing techniques into effective HIV therapies faces significant hurdles. One major challenge lies in the achieving precise and targeted delivery of CRISPR components to HIV-infected cells within the body. Ensuring that gene editing tools reach their intended targets while minimizing off-target effects remains a formidable task particularly in the context of the complex and dynamic environment of the human immune system. Moreover, gene editing approaches primarily focuses on targeting existing HIV infections rather than preventing new infections from occurring. While these strategies hold promise for managing HIV in individuals already infected with the virus, they do not address the broader challenge of preventing transmission and achieving population level immunity. In contrast, traditional vaccine development aims to stimulate the body's immune system to recognize and mount a defense against HIV before infections occurs. By inducing the production of antibodies or activating cellular immune responses, vaccines have the potential to confer long-term production against HIV, thereby curbing transmission and ultimately achieving herd immunity. Furthermore, vaccines offer several practical advantages over gene editing approaches in terms of scalability, cost-effectiveness and ease of administration. Once developed, vaccines can be readily manufactured and distributed on a large scale, making them accessible to diverse populations, including those in resource-limited settings where the burden of HIV is often most acute. While gene editing technologies hold promise as complementary tools in the fight against HIV, they are unlikely to supplant the role of vaccines in achieving widespread immunity and stemming the spread of the virus. By combining the strengths of both approaches, researchers may unlock new opportunities for combating HIV and moving closer to the goal of ending the epidemic once and for all. This is Actual Edge, signing off. But before we do, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.